Hello YouTubers, this is my homemade evaporative cooler, also known as a swamp cooler. I built this to keep me cool in the summertime as I'm working on the computer. This computer room is on the second floor and because of the computer and also the sun blasting this window, it gets really hot in here. So instead of turning the air conditioning down for the entire house, I decided to build this cooler instead after seeing a bunch of other people do it online. So this is my version of the evaporative cooler. How these work is it takes hot dry air in through the window and it goes through this opening and it passes through this media pad material. I have water running down on that and the water cools down the air and the fan in this end blows out the cool air. So I built this with a 18 gallon storage bin, cut the two holes in the side as you saw there. And let me open it up and show you what's inside. So the lid pops off and you can see that attached to the lid is this Blizzard brand fan. It's bolted into the top and also held in place by the good old duct tape. It's a two-speed fan, but I have it on speed two all the time, just for maximum cooling effect. So when I lower the lid down, it fits perfectly with the hole that I have cut through. So that's the first part of it, is the fan. That fan works pretty well, actually. Uh, that Blizzard brand fan blows a lot of air out, so I like that. It's pretty good. This is what actually cools down the air. This is called a media pad. The brand name is Cooler Pad, and you can find this at most of the big box uh, hardware stores. I like this much better than the Aspen because Aspen is hard to cut and leaves those bark shavings all over the place. So it's a lot harder to work with and real messy as well. So this is really easy to cut. It's more sturdy, and the cooling effect seems to be about the same, if not better, than the cooling pad or the Aspen pads anyway. So I really like this a lot. Uh, What's happening is I have a pump, fountain pump that's here, and it's pumping the water into this PVC pipe. And then I drilled some holes in the PVC pipe, and you can see the water dripping down across there. So this is constantly wet, which is what you want, because the water is what's cooling down the air. It's coming through. Yes, this is a Lego frame that I used to hold the pad and the PVC pipe in place. I built it with materials I had laying around the house. I found that Legos were just the best that would work. That way I was able to build a custom frame for this one. Got some zip ties that are holding the pad to the frame and also zip ties are holding in the PVC pipe. Now this is a freestanding design and I wanted it to be freestanding because when I had the pad up against this wall over here, uh, the water would tend to drip out and make a mess outside of the storage bin. So I wanted to keep all the water inside so this design works really well. It's sturdy. I can move this around any way that I want it to but where I have it now works really well. Uh, there's some water in the bottom. Now that this bin holds about two gallons of water and I find that uh, two gallons will last me probably about two hours so I gotta refill it every every two hours. So that's all you really have to do as far as maintenance is concerned. Both the pump and the fan are plugged into the same power strip, so that way I can just turn both of them on and off with one switch. So just really easy to operate. One flip of the switch, make sure the water level is right, and that's basically all you have to worry about with these. So let me put the lid back on again. Now, these are, are good for cooling down personal space. So for working on the computer, this is going to work really well, but it's not something that's designed to cool down an entire room. It's really not made for that. It's more of like a personal air cooler, so your personal space gets cooled down. And the air is really cold that comes out of here, so it does feel like you have a little air conditioning unit sitting right next to you, but they're not designed to cool down a whole room. If you are going to run one of these, make sure you have a window open because it's, it has to take in really dry air to be effective. 
because it's actually putting humidity into the air. So if you don't have a window open and the door is closed, the room will just get more and more humid to where you just can't stand it anymore. So you gotta make sure you have one door open in your room for flow and also a window open to draw in the really dry air. I live in Las Vegas, so we have plenty of dry air on that. But it works really well just sitting here working on the computer and I don't have to worry about running a more expensive air conditioning unit. You know, this uses really little power. You're just running a fan and a pump, that's basically it. So this is uh, my design. This is the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching. Homemade evaporative cooler, sump cooler.